Hi guys, it's time for another movie review and today I'm reviewing the movie 22 Jump Street. This is a sequel to the reboot of the TV show 21 Jump Street and it stars Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill. There's a couple of cops who have gone undercover not to go to a high school this time but to go to a college and infiltrate that and find out uh, basically like the same the story in the first one basically find out um, who is dealing drugs within the college. Now the first movie was fairly funny. It's a film that has story secondary uh, and it's mainly gags uh, up front. That's, that's really what these films are about. Throwing lots of gags at you. A few stick, a few don't. Um, and if it's done right, it, it doesn't matter when the ones that uh, don't work happen. A, a funny one will come along and, and make up for it. And that's pretty much uh, how 21 Jump Street worked for me. I laughed in places, didn't find certain bits funny, but it didn't matter because uh, another funny part came along. This one uh, doesn't quite work as well as that for me anyway. I know it's getting really good reviews on uh, RottenTomatoes.com, it's like 97% um, just before I, I'd done this review. Um, but for me, the film, I didn't think was as good as the first one. Um, but the formula is, is still there from the first film and it still works in a lot of places. I did find myself, especially in the first 30 minutes, chuckling at the film and enjoying the film and I also like the fact that it was very self-aware that once much like the first film very self-aware of what type of film it was it was self-aware that it was a sequel and it was self-aware that um, it was uh, a sequel of a reboot and it was making fun of all those things and um, I did find that funny some gags I felt a little bit were a little bit overused and got tired after I got tired of hearing them after a time especially the jokes about them being too old to be in college that was way overused the, that joke in this film but um, a lot of the gags especially in the early part of the film were working for me and I did find myself chuckling quite a bit the audience the, there was quite a few people in the audience watching this um, at quite such an early time and uh, I didn't really hear like oh, you know the whole crowd laughing at everything there was one section of the film sort of midway I think where everybody was on board and we were all laughing at that part but um, throughout most of the film, you could hear chuckles here and there, people finding one part of the film funny and other people then finding different parts of the film funny. I'm, I myself was sort of giggling at parts and, and, and then like I found sort of after the 30 minutes, there was a lull for me for a, a good half, another half hour, maybe nearly 40 minutes where I was like not finding it that funny. Um, but the film is still enjoyable to watch, you know, the, the chemistry between Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill is really good. They're a good uh, comedy duo and um, I never found myself like thinking, oh, the, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, this is a terrible film, even at the moments where I wasn't like finding it hilarious. The film does pick up once again in the middle. Uh, the gags then start picking up a little bit more. Uh, at the end, it, it kind of then goes off into um, another area where it's like more action, sort of fast paced slapstick comedy um, uh, which, you know, once again I, I didn't find as hilarious as I did the first 30 minutes because I have big gaps of, of like not laughing at all really and sort of, sort of sitting there going well I hope things pick up really because uh, uh, it really needs to, <laughs> especially in a comedy like this and also the fact that the film for me felt slightly too long as well. I think it could have done with being a little tighter. Maybe like they could have cut out sections, um, and then maybe if it was you know put some more funny bits closer together, uh, make the movie an hour and twenty minutes. I think that uh, I would have probably enjoyed it a lot more. Uh, still, I thought it was funny in places though, and overall, I would give it three stars out of five. Comedies for me, for instance, when I go in to see a comedy, uh, I'm not expecting too much because I'm not a huge comedy fan anyway. I prefer when you go into a film and it's about something and then they inject a lot of humour into the storyline. For instance, Days of Future Past, the X-Men film which I recently saw, great story, great action film, but it has a lot of humour in it as well. And uh, I often sit in there and, and find those funnier. Uh, Die Hard, for instance, once once again, a lot of humour in that film, even though it's not a comedy. I actually find those type of films funnier than a lot of films I go in where it's just an all-out comedy and it's just trying to get laughs every five minutes. Um, 
So I'm quite a, you know, hard. To, I'm quite hard to please when it comes to comedies. So I went in this, and I I have to say overall I enjoyed it. I didn't think it was great, but um, I think if you loved Twenty One Jump Street and if you love this type of comedy, I think you'll be pleased with it. So uh, as I said before, um, I'm going to give it uh, three stars out of five. I'll catch you later.